Hey, what is up guys? Aaron here, and I wanted to make this quick video to kind of show you guys that I finally got Android KitKat. Now the date is um, November 23rd, um, so of course it did. Google did take their time um, launching uh, KitKat or releasing KitKat to my Nexus 7, but they finally did. Um, and if you guys also got your KitKat update, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'm just basically going to be walking you through the process of updating to Android KitKat. So it's going to go ahead and finish downloading and verify. Now, let's just see what happens when I click restart and install. So, it's going to go ahead and again, um, restart and install. Um, and uh, it's going to go ahead and do its stuff. So let's go ahead and wait for it to do its stuff right quick there. Right there, KitKat update. Let's see how long it takes. And, um, now by the way, this is the 2013 Nexus 7. So if you guys are kind of wondering, um, what what device this is. This is the 2013 Nexus 7. So it's nearly finished uh, updating or installing system update, um, but we'll kind of see what happens. Um, of course the progress bar right there is just about finished and it looks like it turned off and it just looks like it's restarting and uh, we'll see what happens when it's finished booting up. And it looks like we have a cool little um, boot up screen or uh, intro. Um, so let's kind of go ahead and see what happens when it's finished booting up. So it's loading there and loading. And Android is updating optimizing app 5. Okay, so it looks like it's going to go ahead and optimize all my apps one by one. So I won't make you sit through that. I'll, I'll cut it out when it's done. So it's about done optimizing all my apps and now it says starting apps. So now it's finishing the boot and it looks like we are in OS KitKat. Now let me just try that again because I did hear a um, a new uh, start screen. Oh, and over here it looks like it says Sat November 23 in one word, when it's really Saturday November 23rd. Um, so that looks like a bug. Of course, all my widget. I mean, there is no Google Now when I swipe to the right. So we'll have to see um, what I can do about that. Also, I noticed that this camera logo is updated, um, and. So Google Wallet needs my approval to update. Of course, let's give that a second here. Because I do want to see what happens when I go into the Google Wallet app. Uh, and of course, I need to sign into my Google account. And I do have two-step uh, sign in. So um, we'll kind of see uh, where that takes us. So I it's just going to update all my apps. and. Yeah, it does sound like there's a new um, sound, so let's accept that. Now, I do believe that this update is to allow me to use the um, host card emulation and do the tap to pay service. Um, so that would be pretty cool, actually, if this works. I mean, it's I mean, of course it's supposed to work, um, but what is this? Okay, what is this Google Play services thing? Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so it's updating my Google Wallet account, I mean Google Wallet app. So let's go ahead and see, successfully updated Google Wallet. So now, um, I'm not going to show you guys in Google Wallet, but let's go into settings and see if there's anything new. Oh, we have this little tap to pay thing, it says pay with just a tap, so let's learn more. It's probably going to tell us to download the Google Wallet app, which we have downloaded. Um, and so that is... Uh, Android KitKat, that is updating to Android KitKat, of course, look forward to a full, you know, review and what's new, uh, and what's new video, um, but, you know, that's all for this video, and uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that subscribe button, 
uh, and have a great day.